We are still at IFA and virtual reality is a big theme here. We are here with Zeiss and I was lucky enough to get someone in charge of, uh, from Zeiss and just quickly introduce yourself. Sure. So my name is Andreas Klavin and I'm responsible for this product in Zeiss, uh, the VR1 which is an open platform product for virtual reality. So how can we use it? Uh, it's quite easy. So you take the product and uh, you see that tray and in this tray there is a smartphone and currently we are covering uh, iPhone as well as Android products um, but we choose a little bit for which phone we provide a tray because we want to optimize the picture quality of course um, and so we decided so far for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6, S5 and uh, also the iPhone 6 and we also provide tray data, CAT data on our website for free download so people who are uh, have access to a 3D printer, they can download the data of the tray and then they put their phone inside. Can you use it with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge? Um, we are currently not supporting the Edge because we are not sure how this uh, Edge form will uh, really make a, let's say, an influence on the, on the optical performance. We, we really have to check it. We saw already that it fits very close, so uh, it will be possible to, to use it, I'm quite sure. But uh, we concentrated on the on the standard version, right? Okay. And of course, uh, what is special about this product are the lenses. I mean, we are from Zeiss, so we do the <laughs> the lenses in a way that people really don't have to take care about it in a way that they don't have to uh, adjust anything. So you really start the app, you put it on, and you don't have to adjust the the PD the pupil distance because the eye box of the lens is so big that we cover all the all the possible distance right okay. and then there is another thing for people like me who wear glasses you can really use it um, over your glasses so it fits really nice and uh, that was another point which was important for us to make the ergonomic aspect of this product really good um, and of course you can easily test the performance of the product by just taking a look at the picture and then roll your eye so you're looking up and down and if you still see a clear and a sharp picture in this really nice and uh, big uh, screen then the optic is, is perfect then the optic is nice so you were toying around with it could you tell me your favorite app for virtual reality? Okay, um, so my per personal favorite is uh, the zombie shooter, okay. to be honest. So I like that environment and especially when you use headphones because mm -hmm. then you're really immersed and uh, the, the graphics is very nice in this. So it's a dark environment and you're running through tunnels and shooting at zombies of course mm -hmm. and you just do that by by looking at it so you don't need another interaction right yes. so all these apps we are compatible with are all the google apps made for cardboard because this is basically a very nice designed cardboard yes. actually and so we are compatible with i think it's about 200 300 apps already on android and more than 100 apps for ios so i think it's cool I think it's a really important feature that it looks nice and it feels nice. I have the um, dive and it's just, it's not that far away from a, a paper cupboard and uh, jumping to that, that's a really feeling difference. I like that about the size one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. That, that was the intention. <laughs> so it's the first uh, product size launches on its own, isn't it? Um, yeah, we had a, another video goggles before that was called the Cinemizer, which is also quite a nice product. Of course, it doesn't offer this huge field of view. Yes. So VR is, we talk about VR when we come to 100 degrees field of view, which this is the, the uh, field of view of this VR one. And the cinemizer was approximately in the area of 30 degrees, but still there is a market also for these product products. Okay. So, but um, for me, this yeah is really a fun product on the one side, but more and more serious apps I call it um, are coming up to the market. Like for example, you can book your cruises now with uh, one of the cruise providers, a favorite one. Uh, so you can walk over a ship. Uh, and check the, the cabins and you can even watch over the, the the reeling we call it in German I don't know the English word sorry and uh, yeah so it's it's really cool 
and I think even in the future we will make use for buying our kitchens or bathrooms or car configurators or all these kind of things might really happen in the future with virtual reality. Okay, ITX Tutor had a closer look at this one at Gamescom, so please check out his video. We will toy around with it a little bit um, furthermore. So far, thank you very much for your time sure, and for welcome. the chance to talk to you. Thanks for visiting us. For more videos from Nerdbench or ITX Tutor, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. My name is Timon for ITX Tutor and Nerdbench.com.